Hi guys, it's me Ty and here I am with another unboxing and here I have Nendoroid number 510 Sonoda Umi from What Else Love Live. Now I know I'm doing this unboxing a bit late, I kind of let Umi sit on my shelf for a while but hey, now it's time to unbox her. So here she is from the front. As you can see, she looks adorable, but I wasn't too happy with this Nendoroid once I received her. Um, just because to me, it doesn't seem like Good Smile Company really took the time to work on details with Umi as they did with some of the other Love Live Nendoroids, but she still is adorable. So as you can see, just like with the other Love Live Nendoroids, she actually comes in a small box. Much smaller than the usual Nendoroid box. And as you can see, she barely comes with anything. Just an extra pair of arms, uh, extra pair of legs, and one extra faceplate. So, yeah, here Umi is. Like I said, she still looks cute, even though I'm slightly disappointed. But, yeah. So, anyway, here's the top of the box. And here you can see why I would be a little bit disappointed. This faceplate is nearly identical to the one that um, they made for the Nico Love Live Nendoroid. So, yeah, they could have did a few other expressions, but instead they went with this one. Here she is on the bottom. Here she is from the side. This one is a little cute. And this side. And finally, the back. So yeah, here's Umi. I love, I still, I'm glad I got it because Umi is my second favorite character after Nozomi for Love Alive. But um, yeah, I just wish they spent a little more time. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, and here we have the standard Nendoroid instructions, which we've seen a hundred times by now. And here we have Umi herself. So yeah, like I said, not much to this Nendoroid at all. And yeah, so hopefully this should go pretty fast. So first up, we have the standard um, extra Nendoroid neck joint that comes with all the newer Nendoroids. And we have the standard Nendoroid base, which is just a plain square with some peg holes in it. And then we have her bar, her arm for the base. And just like with the Coterie Nendoroid from Love Live, this is one I hate. I hate these little tiny ones. Not the size of the bar itself, but the size of the peg to go on their back. As you can see, hold it here. It's not very long at all, so the Nendoroids tend to fall off of them very easily. Coterie constantly falls off of hers. So, yeah, I'm not too happy about this piece here, but uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better on Umi. And so real quick before I take the Nendoroid out, I'm just going to show you, here is the um, extra faceplate I was mentioning. And if you remember what Nico looked like, this is the extra faceplate she has. So yeah, not much effort was really put into Umi. So I'm still a little disappointed by this. The only thing different about it is the eye color, but other than that, nearly identical to the other one. Okay, guys. And here is Umi without all the excess plastic. As you can see, she's wearing the same outfit as the other ones from the Love Live opening theme song, Bokura wa Imano Nakade. And I have to say, guys, though I'm disappointed by a lot of things with this Nendoroid, I do think she's really cute, and I love how much they captured her hair. I love the deep blue color of it. So cute, and definitely will stand out against the other ones. But yeah, as you can see with her outfit, she just has one little red bow tilted to the side. And I love her little blue tie with the stripes. Um, you can see similar to the um, Ren and Ellie from Love Live Nendoroids, she, uh, Umi also is wearing the outfit with the shorts. So even though their outfits are all similar, they all do have slightly different details and the shorts is one of them. The others are all wearing skirts. But yeah, she does have the suspenders with the little bows and again the tie, which none of the other ones so far have had. Um, except Ellie, I believe. Yeah. See, Ellie has a tie. But hers isn't as cute as Umi's. So yeah, really cute Nendoroid. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Except she has socks and boots while a few others have sock stockings. But yeah, really cute Nendoroid, guys. I'm just really concerned about her hair being in the way of the bar. Um, so hopefully she'll stay on her base. And it won't be too many problems. But yeah, 
Okay guys, first pose up and here's Umi in all her glory. As you can see, she poses pretty decently. Um, I have to say, I kind of don't want to jinx it, but I had no issues putting this pose together whatsoever. Not even with the peg in the back that I was concerned about. So far, everything's been, been going great. So like I said, I don't want to jinx it, so I won't say anything else about it. But she looks really cute, really adorable. For such a simple pose, I mean, since she only comes with two extra arms, basically that's all you switched it out with for this pose and one bent leg. But she looks like she's waving and saying hi and just looking adorable. So yeah, really cute. I really liked it. It really surprised me as well as it came out. Um, it does seem like she's tilting a little bit. I would have to fix that. But other than that, I think she poses great. Okay, guys. Next pose up. And as we can see... Umi still has her cute smile on her face. Um, again, very simple pose, but this time she looks as if she's kind of like pushing the hair back from her face. So it's kind of a shy pose if you kind of turn it sideways. Well, not the way I'm posing it, but that's what it's supposed to come across. But uh, yeah, really cute pose again, but like I said, very simple. Um, just this go around, her one hand is up and then the other leg is bent, but still a very cute pose, even though it's not my favorite. But yeah, still very simple, still very cute, and still works well with all the others. And here we have Umi with her blowing a kiss face. Oh, I love this pose. Despite my misgivings about the faceplate in the beginning, it does really look cute on her. I have to say that. So yeah, really adorable, really cute. Um, this is one of her stage poses. And um, as you know, in the show, Umi's very shy, but when she's on stage, like she has this whole little persona. So yeah, this totally fits her and is definitely really cute. Look at that. Now, I could have posed it a little bit better, but as we know, I'm clumsy with that. But I have to say, it was pretty easy to put together, and it still looks adorable no matter my mistakes. So, yep, here we have Umi. Okay, guys, final pose, and here we have Umi with her famous love arrow pose. Now, those of you who are familiar with the series, familiar with the character and the fandom, you guys are very familiar with her love arrow pose. And um, though it's not exactly done as the character does it, it's still really cute, guys. I'm glad that they were able to at least add this bit to the Nendoroid, the recreation for the scene, uh, if even if they couldn't add anything else. But yeah, it's really cute and it really works with her. Even with that crazy faceplate. Especially from the size you can see here, but I just love it this way. Really cute. Oh yeah, definitely from this pose. This outlook, I love this pose the best. So I'm guessing that this is the pose I'm gonna leave on my shelf. Even though I love the few of the other ones, um, I really like this one. So yeah guys, final review. I have to say, though everything about this Nendoroid was simple and extreme, um, she's just adorable. She's really cute, and I don't regret getting her, even though I was a bit angry about it earlier. Um, and I have to say, she works definitely works well with the others. And even if she doesn't have any complex poses or any accessories or anything like that, um, she's definitely adorable and worth getting. And I also have to say, I only mentioned it once in the beginning, but I had no issues with this Nendoroid at all. No peg issues, no arm issues, legs, nothing. Now, I know it's simple Nendoroid and she doesn't have much, but I've had a few others that had some issues. So the fact that she has none is really surprising. And I have to say, guys, She's going to get a high score because of that, even though she has nothing to her. So, final score for Umi, I'd have to say she's an 8. That's right, an 8. Um, if she had a little bit more with her, I would have tacked on and made it a 10. Um, but she has nothing, so I couldn't really judge her on those things. But an 8 is still a really good score, considering. Um, also, this marks her as the... What is it? The seventh Love Live and Android release for the series, and it finishes up my second year's. So, yeah, guys, I'm really glad to have her. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this wasn't too long. Bye!